Okay. In this lesson, we will set up our database. So far, we have, you know, created this composer, sorry, uh, Docker compose YML file, and we have defined our web service, and we are able to run it successfully. Uh, and the application is running on port 9000, right? Now we don't have any database yet. Okay, so let's get started. In the same block, I'll have oops a service as db i'll name that container as db okay and in this particular case i don't want any customization i can use postgres as is so i'll say instead of this build context which we have done for our web service we'll say image postgres 10.5 okay so just to you know give you the context if i go to hub.docker.com search for postgres and go to the documentation of the official repository so postgres colon 10.5 it will give me the latest stable version right now after doing this we need to tell that you know i need these ports to be open um, i'll map 5432 to 5432 that's where uh, postgres runs okay i need to uh, store the data somewhere so i'll say volumes this dot postgres db oops dot postgres db it's a hidden folder or let's call it actually this and what i'm going to do is i'll go i'm going to map this to where lib oh um what was that let me look at the documentation should be somewhere yes all right so yeah why don't we use the same convention which is pg data okay so what we are saying is any anything uh, in pg data will be mapped here so whatever is the database uh, thing it will come here I, I don't want to keep the dot so we'll have a folder a new folder here as pg data where all this database information will be stored and then for postgres we need to uh, you know have certain environment variables where are those so environment variables are <coughs> certain you know uh, obviously environment variables which we define for the container to use them as the values for example what is going to be the postgres password so by default i think it's um the default super user is defined by the postgres this and in the above is being set to my secret so i think this is going to be the default password but what i want to do is simply in here i'll create a environment block uh e n v i r o n m e n t environment okay um so password we'll keep it as secret okay then we will need to use postgres user we'll keep it homestead and pg data is fine postgres db i'll say this is going to be homestead as well right and yeah I think that should be fine with this data I think we can look at starting the application again so I'll do compose up it created 
certain configurations for my you know, DB. It is running the boot script. Everything's fine. And server started is ready for connection. So which means now if I open a new tab, Docker container, sorry, container ls. So I'll go into my web uh, container. I'll connect to my web container because I can run artisan command. So to connect to a container, we can fire docker exec dash it, the name of the container and then bash. And I'm here inside the container, right? Now let us first change the database configuration. So database dot PHP config in this PGSQL. So I'll just copy this in my environment variable. I'll use this. The host will be DB because our service name is DB. Okay. And port will be 5432. The rest of the things are same because if you remember, I have user as homestead, database as homestead, and password as secret. So, which is pretty much similar to this. So, I don't need to make any change. And with this, I think if I now do PHP artisan migrate, um, why don't we? Okay, let's let's do that first migrate and I have you know, a successful migration now obviously I don't have any data so why don't we do one thing PHP artisan make cedar users table cedar okay and if I come over here I'll just do factory user class create okay and I'll ensure that you know this is being called on the cedar okay so with this done now I should be able to run PHP artisan DB seed right and web.php if I create a new route which is slash users for now let's create a closure I don't want any controllers or anything I'll just hit dollar user equals user where's my autocomplete yes um, dot all okay and I'll just return okay just user and that should also work so basically now we are making a database call right so we'll come over here slash users and we have you know, the data coming from postgres <clears throat> now if you want uh, to you know have if you are used to a sql pro kind of an interface for your mysql database uh, and if you want some application similar to that for your Postgres, I suggest Table Plus. Okay, I already have a connection for that. I'll just show you what I have done. So the name is something which I have, uh, know, just picked up a random one. The socket is going to be localhost. Port is going to be five four three two because the reason I'm doing it is if you see my composer, uh, sorry, the Docker compose. I'm saying my machine five four three two points to container 5432 right if i would have changed it to 54320 i would have done 54320 okay then the username password everything else and it will just connect fine and if i run it in here select the database have things in place so yeah this is how you can use postgres uh, through this um, you know, lovely application um, and yeah we have the database running so in the next video we are going to um, create our cache container using redis which is going to be pretty simple so yeah stay tuned if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel